Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On The Real Live Sessions here, a part of On The Mark Studio at Warehouse Live. Uh, thank you again so much for tuning in. We are creeping ever so much closer towards the end of this season. Uh, we have one more incredible guest for you uh, coming up after this, and then we're going to recap everything. And I want to say thank you, first off, to everybody that has been a part of this, our team here at the warehouse, Morgan, Baxter, Zach, Matt, Joe J, Marcus, everybody and anybody that's been here behind the scenes that's been a part of this, thank you guys so much for everything you do. Uh, honestly, this wouldn't be possible without those people and those individuals that have been involved behind the scenes. I want to thank our sponsors as well, Celestial Viking. I want to thank WXRY Discovery for, for helping support some of this as well. Um, I want to thank uh, Coburn's Exclusive, Marcus Gullen, man, uh, for, for helping to kind of start this from, from the ground where we started it as well. And then uh, also to all of our Patreon supporters, thank you guys for supporting. Even if you only supported for a period of time or if you're still supporting to this day, thank you for everything that you've contributed. We really appreciate any and all support that you want to give. If you want to support this uh, program as well and help to uh, you know, get, continue this along so that we can go into season four, please visit our Patreon. It's www.patreon.com forward slash on the mark studio that's m-a-r-c the link will pop up here as i'm saying it so uh and it'll be down in the description below so please check it out if you got a moment do that if not just hit that like and subscribe button make sure you follow us on facebook instagram all of that stuff we thank you guys so much for all of your support uh tonight i am super super humbled to have this incredible musician here. Uh, I have been looking forward to this one, and I know I say that, uh, but I look forward to each week as we get these artists, but I have truly been looking forward to this performance, and I am so pleased to be able to present to you, ladies and gentlemen, Danielle Howe. By the light Soon it will be spring I will move the clouds that hide within To the gate, get out my old suitcase Put it in on a train No, oh, but nothing is for sure Finding ways to welcome the world again Every night, so mad at me to cry over one more thing What is left? Why shouldn't I be all Over all this please? Oh, but nothing is for sure Finding ways to welcome the world again ba -da 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 -da. Get to dance with it Are you listening? We show you grow, you know you are enough. You are enough as you are right now. At the time, I was not thinking about the way sound can help me heal. Cause it's running through my heart while finding ways to welcome the world. Nothing is for sure Finding ways to welcome the world again da -da 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 -da. I get to dance with everything And every atom radiating on I ask myself, are you listening? You show At the time, I was not thinking By the light, soon it will be spring Danielle, gosh, thank you so much for coming out and being a part of this. I know that you have an incredibly busy schedule. You are all over the place, all over South Carolina. Uh, you have been a part of this scene for, for quite a long time. Um, uh, you are, if there ever was a staple of South Carolina music, I would say in this age, if you will, 
uh, you are definitely one of those staples. Uh, you have been doing this for such an incredibly long time, and I, I, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> but like, <laughs> you, you have you have been a part of this for for the scene since I've even known about it. You know, like uh, I grew up here. I'm originally from Lugolf, South Carolina, so I remember hearing about you when I was younger and and everything. And uh, you were a part of some pretty interesting scenes and everything like that. So. I guess I'm going to start, I, I don't want to give too much away, and I'm sure that folks that are tuning in probably already know some of your background, but I, I'd like to give the floor to you to tell me, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your history and uh, where you began, because uh, it didn't just start out as Daniel Howe. You had some other projects, and you worked your way to that. So uh, tell us, when did, uh, when did the music start for you in terms of, uh, let's just go back to the beginning. When did it start for you? Like, when did you start playing music? When did you realize that this was your passion? I liked to write poetry when I was a young lady, and I wrote a poem about my dog, and Miss Jenkins in the third grade, she thought it was cool. And I was like, well, there might be something here. And so I, I just wrote journals from probably third grade all the way through 10th grade. It was a way that um, it was like I could build anything in there. I could make anything. You can draw. You can create an entire world that is uh it's it's a it's a holder it it can hold the ideas and so i just liked writing things and thinking about things and then i always sang and didn't really know if i wanted to sing but then uh i did a lot of theater growing up and and uh, then i went to governor school for the arts i met these cool dudes from rock hill and i started my first band when i was 16 and i'd drive up to rock hill on and play play with them and then uh, I was at Spring Valley, and I did that. And I, my, most kids in my high school didn't know I even was in even in bands. And then I found these other dudes downtown. I was hanging with some of my older brothers and sisters that were already at USC. And this dude heard me singing through a wall in this, that weird apartment building downtown, the Peach one in Five Points. And he knocked on the door, and he goes, Dude, I have a gig. You need to be in my band. And I was like, Yay! So that's how it all started. And my parents would have to take me to the gigs. Because they didn't want me to be in a bar underage by myself, and neither Heard did anybody else. Wall. That's incredible. It's uh, weird. Wow. Uh, okay. So, I mean, you're you're a South Carolina native. You grew up in Columbia. You went to, I guess, out of that, I can take out of context. Yeah. You went to Spring Valley High School. I did. Um, so you're from the Northeast area, so you're not too far from me. As a matter of fact, my, my father graduated from Spring Valley as okay. well. So, yeah. Um, you know. Um, I, I think he's got a few years on you, so I, I won't, uh, I won't, well, maybe I'll ask you afterwards, like, hey, do you know this guy? I but might. I, I, you might. I might. <laughs> you never know. One, two, three, two, two, three. I'm in love with the rhythm of you. And all it brings me to. Stumble in the dark world. I'm in love with your artful heart and the way it breaks apart. Of us clear. Should we be loud? There's a lot of things to talk about. Should we be near? Should we be love? Should we be all? Yeah, the all. The all. It brings me to No more broken question marks Whoa. 
when did you go solo? It was uh, what 1993. You released your first solo album. Is that correct? Or I think it was 99. 90, 99. Mm-hmm. Okay. I th- I th- well, it was 93 when you first started doing your own project. Yeah, I was trying okay. to do s- stuff like seven inches and a few different little things, and then yeah, that was that seven inch came out on Simple Machines Records, and then I got signed to Kill Rock Stars in 99. And, but I was still in the band, and it was very confusing because I was on like three different indie labels at the same time, and the owners would get together and decide when they were going to release my stuff because I was just like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Nobody said no, so I just kept doing it how I wanted to do it, which is kind of like a little bit, there's a little bit of punk rock in there. It's just like, let's do this, you know? Because there's, there's, if you, if you have the foresight to know that your chances of really breaking through and and and, and getting escape velocity into a, a music career that is going to be sustainable for you and your band people, you just got to keep piling on the stuff, man, piling it on. And I had so many good people around me and so many good small indie labels and people of of merit like John Fur and the guys in Lake Quiet a while that and uh, you know the Indigo Girls their label Amy's label. Um, Damon, that no one told me no, so I just kept digging in and just throwing pasta at the wall in different regions, so to speak, you know. So I was doing all that at the same time. I didn't really go solo until, for real, uh, 2002. When the tantrums broke up after our record came out. Yeah, well, I mean, and 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 there's 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 a, you bring up a good point talking about all the different stuff too, because like you're never really solo. You know what I'm saying? Like you're always gonna have people that are a part of your your mm-hmm. stuff, whether you're in in the studio with somebody who's producing something or something like that. You're never really by yourself, but like in terms of like your songs and your instrumentation, like that was your first time that you you really went with that. Then after. Uh, probably yeah. When after the last Score Borealis record came out in O2, when I, I was in bands where the collaboration was incredible, like uh, with Lake Quiet a while, everything was written, everyone wrote everything at the same time together. Yeah. It was very very difficult to do, um, in the in the sense of I didn't know what they wanted from me, but I I just became a melody and lyric maker in that group, and then the tantrums were like really into like me bringing songs to them, and so that was like a crazy different kind of collaboration, and then I was still playing tours with the band and uh, with the tantrums and still doing acoustic tours too, because I just I was trying to build up enough momentum to make some st- sustainability happen. Because I wanted to see how long I could do it. See, I, I know <laughs> I, I, I've been lucky enough to see you on both aspects of it mm-hmm. now. Like, I, obviously, I saw you play by yourself first. I think over the White Mule, you played over there one time, and then mm. uh, uh, I also got to see you uh, with the Tantrums recently uh, no. at the oh, at the, Five Points. Yeah, when yeah you that's were our yeah, stage yeah, yeah, manager. Yeah, I was the stage manager over there for that. That was a cool time, man. We had some we had some great folks on that stage, and that it was, was good. Uh, it was really good to get to see you again and uh, connect and kind of have that moment to be able to kind of even be behind stage and and talk about music and stuff like yeah, that, that and the cool. different things are going on. So I, I really enjoyed that. And it was a good opportunity because, hell, if, if we didn't do that, we wouldn't I, be here I wouldn't right be now. here on your show yeah, right now if we yeah, didn't have no, that moment. That's, yeah. that, and that's fair. That's Somebody honest. else would be in the this, in this seat right now. No, I, I, when, else. When, when, uh, when I was approached about doing it, I was like, mm, I, I kind of like, I, I, I was thinking three steps ahead. I was like, okay, I, I, <laughs> I, I got to still do the job and I got to still be professional and everything, but there's an opportunity here for me to, Ping a couple different folks to to get them on this program, and I and I got to give a shout out to to Matt for that for putting that one together. So, Matt. yeah, for sure. Thank everybody for being here. Um, I wrote this song because Jordan I go. You can look her up online and see and hear beautiful music. Hey friends. Um, I wrote this because I was on the phone with Jordan I go, and I said I'm all right. Don't get me wrong. She goes, you need to hang up and write that song, and I did. But don't get me wrong I'm right here Coming along I'm gonna get me a little bit more So I can give you some I'm alright Don't get me wrong Well I can get my bits together Better in half the time And yeah Oh darn well, we all die. 
in the middle of the conflict I hope love comes back before my final smile Cause I'm alright Don't you get me wrong Needless to say, I wasn't very happy when I wrote this song, but it was more of not about not about really worrying so much about the the sadness, but worrying not worrying at all, just feeling it and living it and staring it in the face. And then a lot of the songs that you'll hear me write about feelings and stuff, um, they're just a way that I I personally heal uh, my own experience. And then sometimes when people tell me things in their life that are pretty sad or even very happy. Um, sometimes I get so excited about them being so candid and sharing that I write a song about it. And uh, if you do talk to me about your life, I might write a song about you. But I will get approval from you before singing it in public. But then again, you know, I might not do it at all. I don't know what's going to happen. But don't seek me out if you need a song written and corner me in a bar or a church or a family event for 15 to 20 minutes because I will have PTSD and I will run from you. We will no longer be friends. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not really kidding, maybe not, don't know. Who got scared and had to run? Now I'm back in the sun, back in the sun once again. Sometimes hearts are just like these There's a wisdom in the peace Faster that they leave don't mean a thing When I'm stumbling Through the humbling Past the crumbling in the world That attachment little girl I hear you breathing in your sleep I love the sound of peace I'd like to think I help you there well, who got scared and had to run now I'm back in the sun, back in the sun, it's just me here. When I'm stumbling through the humbling, past the crumbling in the world, that attachment means nothing. In my world When I'm stumbling Through the humbling As the crumbling In the world That attachment 
that attachment means nothing in my world. You are listening to Carrie Brooks and Daniel Howell, and we are here on, on a show called On The Real, and we're excited about it. So let us continue to play you some songs. trees at night coming through the trees it was spoken to me and now I'm speaking it to you my love is coming for you I'm gonna love you out of this strife love to the ways of honest days I'm gonna love you keep want the same thing love safety family safety people want the same they all need the same things and you go down there don't see what you got fighting that fear don't see what you're not You don't see what you got Oh My love is all My love is all My love is all In the middle of the night, do you trust yourself? When you're turning out the light, do you trust yourself? In the middle of your way, now, do you trust yourself? I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust me, but I still go down there, don't see what I got. I fight on my fear, I fight my fear, it's not going down there to see what I got. My love is coming for you. I'm gonna love you out of this strife Love to the ways of honest days I'm gonna love you, keep the light da 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 My, 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 my love It's coming, it's there, it's coming It's already there
your vocals and your your the way that you sing, uh, you do have an incredible voice. Like there's just something wholly unique about the way that you present, and you do you do something that I don't see in a lot of like a kind of a, I, I I don't want to like define your genre, but you've got more of a folksy Americana kind of feel to your sound. But then you did a little bit of scatting earlier uh, when we were doing this, and I was like. Man, I'm digging this, man. <laughs> like uh, you, you brought an upright bass player. This, I think he's, uh, I think Carrie's the first upright bass player that I've had on my show in particular. Oh, wow. oh no, I lied. I, I'm sorry, Reggie Sullivan Band. That Whoa, was that was it. Okay. So we had we had Reggie. Uh, yeah. But outside of that, like I don't get a lot of that on on mm -hmm. our program here. We we do on the on the Cola Jazz side mm -hmm. when I do the video stuff for Mark Rapp and everything. But uh, I don't get a lot of upright bass players. So it was kind of cool to to have that come in. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting. An electric bass, which you know, hey, I'm I'm sure Kerry can rock an electric yes, too. Yes, it is man, done. It was, he was <laughs> he was moving on those yeah. strings, man. Like we had a really cool shot too of that angle where we can really see him kind of plucking at those oh plucking good. those fingers. So it's uh it, it it looks really good, and I'm I'm excited for people to be watching this right now and be like, yeah, it really is. He's he's incredible because he is. He was absolutely fantastic. So thank you for bringing Kerry for yeah. sure. Uh, thank you, Kerry, wherever you're at. So, yeah, um, Kerry Brooks, a Charlotte yeah, musician. Kerry Brooks, man, out of Plays Charlotte. Plays with a lot so of different I, bands. I, I can't imagine. Well, speaking of, like you've, you've played with a lot of different bands yourself as well. So, um, you know, are you... I think you even mentioned that you might even still currently be working with some other folks as well earlier. So tell us a little bit about some of the other stuff that uh, uh, Danielle Howe is working on outside of Danielle Howe. Like, what, hey. are, what are some of the other stuff? Who are some of the other folks that you work with regularly that you enjoy and everything? I have a wonderful uh, band with Carrie Brooks, who you've met, you've met tonight, um, with Josh Roberts from Josh Roberts and the Hinges. Love that dude. And congratulations to Josh Roberts. Oh yes, well. congratulations! Yeah, hey, hey. hey, well, Fritz. Fritz is here. Fr Fritz Minton Roberts. Yeah, hey, buddy. And so, and another man named Tony Loria that I met, I think in Athens, Georgia. He's in a band called Spottis Wood and His Enemies. He lives in Brooklyn. I met him 20 years ago on tour. The tantrums were like sitting there, get ready to play, and we were eating some snacks. And um, I was like, man, I don't know this third bill that they added to the bill. I hope they're really cool. And oh my gosh, is this going to cut into the money? And my band was eating French fries and they started to hear Spottis Wood and his enemy play. And they went, mm, and they everybody took their food and went inside. And I was like, eh, whatever, I'm going in. And then we all fell in love with them. It was a 20 year relationship. And uh, so Tony got back in touch with me um, on the Facebook during a lockdown. And so. We cut a record with this ensemble, and that'll be coming out this year. Nice. We'll look forward to that one. I, I, I'm hoping I'll, I'll be able to throw it down in here at that time, too. So uh, We did a rehearsal here during a, the Delta variant to record an album, and a lot of the improv from uh, these songs that I'm playing right now started on this stage at Warehouse Live with, with Matt Buck at the helm. So just so you know, and here's, here's a song that's, that's on that same record that inspired me because of the beautiful dancers off of Forest Drive, another Latin uh, dance club that used to be down over there. I used to be so jealous of everybody who could dance like that. I was like, that's the way to meet someone right there. If you dance good, you might find friendship. <laughs> anyway, this is my tribute to all of the beautiful dancers in the, our beautiful state and world. To this, what's that song you got to come on? Yeah, come on for the dancing. And the answer to your question is, I want to do that again. I want to do that again. I want to do that again. You know that one where the horns move They got the notes to 
float your float like a feathery feather from an alien mind ain't the answer to this what's that song you got to come on you come on for the dancing and the answer to your question is i want to do that again i want to do that again i want to do that again Gotta scream. So you have played with, I mean, so many incredible bands and musicians as well. Everyone from the Abbott Brothers to Blues Travelers to Little Hootie and the Blowfish. You even mentioned having Mark Bryan coming in and playing uh, with your band and everything. But you also mentioned some local folks too that maybe aren't quite at that tier yet, but they're incredible. Incredible musicians. Uh, you mentioned Jordan Igo earlier. Yes, I, I do. Love Jordan. She's absolutely fantastic. Yes. Uh, I, I've, I've had. She's awesome too because like I have called her for things and she's one of the only people that I'll call and she'll pick up the phone. Yes, she will. Because <laughs> I usually expect to call and leave a message. You right. know, um, I try not to cold call people, but like if I have something come short and I've, I've reached out to Jordan, she's 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 incredible. So. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay, buddy. Maybe I'll edit that out. Maybe I won't. We'll hey. see. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> so question for you. Like, what do you find uh, brings you more pleasure? Or maybe it's different. Uh, is it is it working with some of those bigger names? Or is it working with uh, the folks that are working their way up to that point? Or where do you, where do you find most of your joy in performance? Is it... Is it at that lower level where you can see that that creation and where people are trying to to get to that point, or when they've already made it? Because I know they, there's there's enjoyment to be had at both aspects of it for yeah. sure. But like, which which one is yours? Which one do you like more? You mean as far as in a performance situation? Yeah, I love a room about this size yeah. with people that want to be there That's and to play with artists that um want to be there. And and want to be seen and want to want to want to be a part of something that's a show, you know what I'm saying? That's that's for me. I, I and I knew that's where you were gonna go because there's something great about a small listening room this where is you know space. everybody is listening and paying attention. Yeah. They're there for you because I've been in areas where they don't. Yeah. Uh, I've been at open mics where people yeah. are playing cornhole in front of the freaking stage, and I I'm know. like, what is at happening? At an open right mic. Now? What's oh. happening right now? Like, why oh. are, why are you here? mics are sacred. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> this is my nice way of having an unrequited love song. I'm not really into the genre that much. Um, yeah, but uh, this one had to come out. <laughs> When I was younger, that's just kind of like where you start writing. You hurt me, you hurt me, but blah, blah, blah. But this is, a, this is a different way of saying the same thing, I think. Within. Why love again? Let 
stepped out of hand so well Mine was held every now and then Oh, another one leaves me with a song Love my face Open spirit yields Staying close in outer space Between the wisdom and my fears with the song I know it I wrote it well he left me with the song eyes crying long long tears Head hanging low I saw his face Bringing disgrace to love. He left me with a song, eyes crying long tears. Bringing disgrace to love. I'm leaving with a song. I'm leaving with a song. Yep. So let's let's go to the next question then on the docket that we like to ask people. Uh, you mentioned uh, you've got one uh, project that has some music coming out later on. Uh, how about you? I know you've recently released some stuff, but uh, do you have any other projects that are uh, coming out? Uh, any new things that we can look forward to in terms yes. of solo? Or uh, now that we got some Danielle Howland the Tantrums again, do we got something coming out with that group as there well? There may be some mysterious um, shows with the Tantrums. There are. 15 unreleased tracks that are uh that me and john found john fur and um i don't know i haven't talked to him about it but maybe maybe we do something with them i don't know i'm down with doing something with them and uh there's another thing coming out i have um i do a songwriter retreat called swamp sessions it's on a solar pa powered songwriter retreat in the francis mary national forest and we're putting out a songwriting trail video that was filmed uh, at, at the, I have a songwriting trail. It's a quarter mile long that I put up when we do the uh, songwriter retreat, and um, it's going to be available to the public where people can just go online and take the songwriting course and and be in this at the swamp house with us. I'll get that link from you, and we'll make oh, sure yeah. that we put that down good. here as it's well. Gonna so be please real good. check that out. Absolutely. It's kind of like that other song. Apparently I like to do this on A minors, I'm not ashamed. Oh, 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 told his people these are things that you must do that I have made they are given numbers and there's one thing you'll need to separate you will never master all of all or any of the everything but it will bring you faith it feels Another mistake. Oh, perfection is a concept 
just like words in human hands. Make the boat or hold the trickling mass we can't fathom. Someone told me once, they said it brings you faith. Yes, it will bring you faith. If it feels like another mistake. We talked about this back in uh, back in March as well. You are uh, you're a strong advocate for uh, promoting development within music and everything like that for many aspects. You know, um, I think you even uh, you mentioned that you have some grants and stuff like that that you help to to support and everything. Um, uh, you know, obviously you talked about the songwriter retreat just now. What other projects do you have going on in terms of like supporting the arts and everything like that that uh, that you want to mention? Maybe, or is there anything else that? Yes, I'm the artist in residence for Allendahl Green, which is a venue in the Low Country of South Carolina, about maybe 15 miles from the downtown area, just past through Mount Pleasant, head north. You'll see Allendahl is like two, three buildings. <laughs> it's called the Barn Jam, and it's been going on 12 years, and I make pizzas there, and that's how I got to do Swamp Sessions, and I also play at the Barn Jam, but the Barn Jam has become, it's booked by Eddie White, an, our owner. The Barn Jam is, is a gig that many people seek because they like the idea, bands like the idea of playing with other bands and being in a, under these giant oaks outside, whether it rains or not, we just put up more tents and everybody huddles. It's crazy and kind of scary, but it's good. We have heaters, we have fires, and and two to 500 people every Wednesday, depending on what type of, what what the area of the season it is in, August being like one of the most amazing months to play the Barn Jam, whereas January being a little bit sparser of a crowd. So yeah. that it goes on, and then it's four to five bands, and people are coming from literally all over the world yeah. now. It's weird. It is. It's strange. It's, yeah. It's, I, I get that. We you get know, a I, lot of Columbia I, bands. I love collaborations like that. I'll just say that on this day, I'd like to put forth the fact that joy and compassion and friendship in the lives of human beings is going to become more 
It's going to become huger, more emancipated, and more important. And every time that this video is played, it will emanate out into the universe that human beings care about themselves and their environment and their uh, fellow man. And that will be nothing that can stop human beings on the earth to heal themselves and their planet, no matter who's in charge, no matter what's happening anywhere other than inside of this beautiful internet, this beautiful interwebs you got right here. And um, that's what I have to say today. And every day, always, to the end of time where there's no end and there's no beginning. And the snow cone is great. And the hot dogs are beautiful. And everybody catches the baseball. <laughs> that was weird. And I'm staying by it. <laughs> and if, if that freaks you out at some point, Greg, you can say, Nadi, we're not doing that on my show. And I'll be, I, will, I will bring you baby puppies to your house. And they're gonna be like, I'm gonna, you're gonna have to like get out, get out like some Minecraft or like some video game and go into the metaverse for a minute and go, I can't stand the puffy girl. <laughs> this is my song about stuffed animals and love, my friends. Go my halo. It ain't a brass ring. Let go my heart. It ain't a fake thing, God. You'll be fine. Stop expecting. Got a number. I kind of like being that guy too behind the scenes that helps to kind of uh, curate and coordinate different artists and individuals to come together and play together because I'm like, man, if I could get this person with this person yes. and that person, you could create something beautiful. That's why I love doing like the songwriter rounds that I do at Festers and everything. I think mm -hmm. uh, I, one of my favorite ones that I've had thus far, I had uh, Lang Owen, uh, Jeff Gregory, and uh, uh, who was it? It wasn't... Uh, Brody Porterfield. What? So that, that was insane. a killer lineup. That's so good. And, you know, and you, you, things like that, those different jams and events, you see bands that evolve and change. You know, we were talking, uh, we had the run out on here a few weeks ago. And yeah, you, you just I played, played with, with them, them last yesterday. night. They were crushing yeah. it. It was insane. Yeah, it was they insane. are absolutely incredible. And it's, it's, it's cool, too, because like you saw that evolution of like when Jeff kind of started the band and the 
the way that it changed and then Chris kind of coming yes. in with him because Chris is an incredible singer songwriter. Yeah, in that's his own Chris right. Compton. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Moses Andrews, yeah. another one, incredible songwriter. We he got here and we were expecting him to be playing the keys and he was playing bass, which yeah, is, he's he's insane. an incredible all around musician. And it's just it's kind of cool to see that like from conception to like this point where like man these guys are insane together yeah. and like events like that like onda and all those things that's where kind of that stuff can get born sometimes yes open mics i've seen that kind of stuff and everything so you know we're we're advocates here of all the different formats whether we're talking about the streaming events and open mics and other things that are happening across columbia we like to make sure that people know about it um, you know, tuning in to the local music stations and everything like that. Shout out again to WXRY Discovery for for helping to support some of this and uh, throwing a little uh, cheddar our way. <laughs> you know, hey, anything you guys want to do would be helpful. So please make sure you visit our Patreon. We we highly encourage get it. Get the coin it's down moving. In the description. Um, you know, it's it's helpful to to kind of get that stuff and plan for the next season. This song is written on an actual pontoon boat in the beautiful Lake Murray uh, on a full moon, which is in the song. And the dam, the Lake Murray Dam also makes an appearance. And, um, I was writing it right after we got off the boat and my friends went inside to make spaghetti and I ignored them. And uh, it was because I was on that boat and in love and uh, I wrote this song, but also in love with other people's love, not just the love that I had. I was like in that place where you're like, wow, everything is beautiful and great and um so now what the mantra of this song does for me now is um whatever mood i'm in if i want to change my mood i just think of that extremely good feeling and, and emanate that out of my being and it's fun and uh if you like beer and pontoon boats that's all this is really about there was a cloud shaped like a sea in the sky the return red light blinked to my right and a full moon lit up the lake that night while I missed you. I sang five of them shows in three days, best as I could. Yeah, the money God made and the good times came. I'm just grateful to play while I miss you. If I could drive over the Lake Murray Dam, the river would deliver to the place where you're at. If I could make future turn into past, live peace like a wave. That keeps beating on that I'd do anything you ask just to rock you Circumstances beyond all control Turn that cloud into a thousand white holes So the moon lit up as we roll while I miss you If the course is marked And navigation is true All that's wrought on the journey's just blue And the destination Is something I do while I miss you If I Drive over the Lake Murray Dam The brown little river would carry me where If I could make future turn into past Live peace like a wave that keeps beating on that I'd do anything you ask just to rock you. I'd do anything you ask just to rock you.
Sundays working on an awful full moon, giving off shadows, making things new, but nothing abstracts the beautiful truth. Why I miss you. Speaking of planning for next season, we, we're going to have to wrap things up. And I, I really appreciate you being here yet again, Danielle. You were absolutely incredible. Um, uh, thank you to everybody that came in, too. We got a little audience in here tonight. Yeah, three you friends. You, say, yeah, three yeah, friends. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I, I want to. I Grassroots yoga. We, we talked about this uh, early on because season four, we're, we're kind of looking at that. We're looking at potentially moving into a venue and being able to have a small audience with this for for season four because you know we, cool. we started this during the pandemic so the yes. idea was we want to keep the music going and everything like that and uh being able to have a platform to showcase uh, all these incredibly local talented individuals is is something that i want to be able to continue to do so um you know uh i i was excited when you said we we're going to have a few people here because i'm like all right I'm at that point where I feel good enough that I've done this enough that I don't feel like I'm going to stumble or not know what I'm doing to have people in here. So uh, thank you for bringing them. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. Uh, make sure you check out Danielle Howe. We'll have all of her uh, links, web page, social media stuff down here in the description. Please give her a like, a follow, a listen. Uh, go buy a CD, something, anything. Uh, you know, I, I like to do this thing, you know, find out where she lives. Find, no, don't do all that <laughs> stuff. But anyways, support local artists everywhere and anywhere that you can. Uh, thank you to everybody behind the scenes yet again, to Matt, to Morgan, uh, all the folks that have been a part of this team and everything. Uh, thank you again to our Patreon supporters and our sponsors as well. Uh, Danielle, thank you so much for coming out. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you to Carrie as well, man. Yay, thank you so much, man. Carrie. You were absolutely incredible. So, <laughs> Danielle, thank you so much for coming out. Thanks for doing Dude. this and giving us a, a place to play and shine and be ourselves, man. This is incredible. I'm going to try not to cry. All right. It's okay. You can cry. I'll cry with you. Come on. Good. Bring it in. You are incredible. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. We did it. So I guess I can talk a little bit about the team. I'm at Warehouse Live. I'm doing On The Real. It's in Columbia, South Carolina. And this is a place where music is made. And uh, in Warehouse Live and On The Real is where it's uh, a show where uh, music is captured. And uh, it, uh, it's... A phenomenal experience because you feel very comfortable and artists will feel comfortable here and uh i just i hope that i hope you get i hope you get to do it that's all i'm saying all right why not let all of that out of my mouth don't you know i feel insane security of being that i keep seeing let me hold it again loads of anchors stop my ship got it down to one the training is imminent. Help me live a month. How will I live through? Oh, how will I live through? How will I live through? Ah, oh, loving you. Oh, the mirror gets so fogged up. Still another choice. How do I know what I really hear? What I feel? Is this my voice? Well, from I'll get called and fall back to waves again. Security of being that I keep seeing, all living in. How will I live through? Oh, how will I live through? How will I live through? time it brings me back to you plastic cats the aftermath between what we want and what we do that's a show where we all can go burn up feeling used you get to fight you get to go yes you get to go right now yes the security of being that I keep seeing 
Oh, what a test. How will I live through? Oh, how will I live through? How will I live through? I'll love it. do.